Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to add a tooltip in Breakdance versus using a tooltip in Elementor. So this is a tooltip, very common website, elevate your mouse over something, you get some additional information appearing in a tooltip. So Breakdance makes it easy. We just have a tooltip element, and you can put anything you want in that tooltip. You can edit the content here. This is my tooltip content, and we mouse over the tooltip. The tooltip appears, so you can put an image in the tooltip. You could put a question mark icon in the tooltip, right? You just go to the icon chooser and find a question icon. You can put a tooltip on literally anything. It's that easy. All you do is add the tooltip element. Now, in Elementor, there is no tooltip element. So, to add a tooltip, there are a number of ways, there are third party add ons, et cetera. But here is a popular tutorial on adding a tooltip to Elementor. I'm just going to talk you through some of these steps, and you can actually watch the tutorial if you want. It's on the Wiki Design channel. Uh, it's this video published October 13th, 2021. And basically, Let's just jump right you're going to... The first step we need to actually do is create a transparent background that's really small that would sit behind the icon. Yeah, this guy's serious. He opened up Photoshop to create a transparent background because they use the image hotspot element included in Elementor, and they kind of hack it to, to create the tooltip effect by using a transparent background. So anyway, once he creates a transparent background, he messes about with hotspot widget for a few minutes, and eventually he's got that going. The tooltip then doesn't appear in the right place, so he messes about with the inline positioning. So I'm going to show you how to use the Elementor's inline positioning to make this icon appear next to some text. Because he to get to get this thing to show up in the right place, and that's uh, outside of the scope of this comparison. Breakdance has a better layout engine than Elementor 2. It's very easy to position things side by side with, oh, using inline positioning. Elementor has realized this and they've put Flexbox in their product, which is now in beta and probably will be released, you know, at some point. But anyway, you get the idea. Tooltips in Breakdance, you just add the tooltip element. Tooltips in Elementor, you get to play with Photoshop. 